Hi guys, happy Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. We can do this, we've got this. Happy hump day and welcome to Yoga with Adele. Find your inner sparkle. So it's Wednesday, we're gonna do a little bit of movement. So if you wanna grab some comfortable clothes, if you're not already in just a pair of leggings or tracky bottoms, then go ahead, pause this video and get your comfies on and then join me back when you're ready. We're just gonna begin sitting in a seat on the floor. You don't need any special equipment for this one. So you're just gonna sit on the floor and we're gonna look at the spine just to begin with. So we're doing a little bit for the legs today. It's a little bit of stretching out into those hamstrings, but it also really links with the spine. So what I find is very, very common for people when they come to sit on the ground unsupported, when they've got tight hamstrings and hips, and it kind of pulls the back out, so the back tends to round like this. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just bend the knees and soften the knees to begin with, so that we can relax the hamstrings a little bit straight from the, from the offset here. Um, and then just walk the sit bones back a little bit, and use your hands just to place them just at the side of the sit bones, maybe a little bit back, and just come onto like claw fingers like this, fingertips. Really press into the fingers. If you find your back rounding here and it's quite difficult, you're just gonna work on building your spine from the bottom up. So we're just gonna press gently into the fingers. Can you see as the knees are bent, I'm just gonna kind of use my hands as a kickstand to push my spine into this alignment rather than being like this. So just even if you have to have your hands back here, just find a comfortable position where you can tilt you'll feel this movement coming from your hips so we'll just tilt the pelvis can you see kind of tucking under with the pelvis and tilting back so find that movement right from the bottom from the base of the spine by tilting the pelvis pressing into the hands and starting to build these vertebrae here so it's the low back that tends to oh, want to collapse when we're not used to sitting unsupported and these muscles get weak because we don't sit unsupported enough we tend to sit in our chairs so we're going to use our hands to just push 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 tilt the hips and build the spine so you start to build these blocks from the base up right up into the neck pressing into the hands and just open the chest open the throat look up towards the ceiling and breathe in and then go ahead and just collapse the low back round the back let the hands just move forward relax chin to chest so you've got this contrast so you can now feel oh how does it feel if i let my back collapse how does it feel when i breathe in and i grow the pose so you kind of unravel the spine press into the hands press into the thumbs drop the shoulders away from the ears and look up so just do that a few more times breathe out round breathe in lengthen breathe out round Breathe in, roll the shoulders back, ripple through the spine. This time, take your arms up. So you've got a nice straight spine. You can feel your spine is super tall and long with the knees bent. Start to hinge forward from those hips. Notice my back, it is straight and long. So if you start to feel this happening, the low back bulging out and the shoulders rounding forwards, then we don't want that to happen in our forward fold. So I want you to reach, reach, reach and lengthen here. And if you can't lean forwards very much without this happening, stop. Just stop where you can feel your spine stays in integrity and then float your arms down here. So your hands might just be on the side of your legs. Your back is nice and long. You're reaching forwards. You're pivoting from the hips and that's fine. If you get to a certain point and your back stays nice and long, and you can start to straighten your legs and it still feels okay in the back and you're not collapsing, pulling the chest forward and the shoulders back, then go ahead and straighten the legs a little bit. And then we can just fold forwards from here. So this pose is called Paschimottanasana, forward fold. And you might be able to feel a stretch in the hamstrings. If you can reach the toes, reach the toes, keep that back nice and long. And then just relax the head. So like I say, you might be here with the knees bent. Another good way of doing this is to take the arms under the legs and just allow your back to relax. 
or you can put a support like some cushions or a bolster or something under the knees as well. So take a few breaths here and then slowly just relax in the legs, unravel the spine, build your building blocks bit by bit, bring your hands back down and then take the legs out wide. So you don't have to be super wide in any kind of splits or anything like that here, just take them nice and comfortably wide. You see? And we're going to do the same thing again. So now you've seen that view of the spine. Again, play with it here. So flex your toes, don't have the feet just relax, just flex and activate the feet. Let your back collapse and round, drop the chin to the chest. And on a breath in, roll through your spine, ripple up, nice straight spine, look up, open the chest, breathe in. Breathe out, relax and round, collapse the back, breathe in, uncurl from the base. And again, you might need to bring your hands behind your sit bones just to allow you to pivot and press into the hands to allow you to get this length in the spine. So just do a couple more, exhaling round, inhale and lengthen, open the chest, pull the shoulders back, breathe in and breathe out. So get used to the difference in your back, wake up the muscles in your spine, activate them, allow them to move separately. And the next time you grow the pose by reaching the arms up, lengthen, 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 pull the tummy in and up, allow the knees to bend a little bit if you want to. And then this time, hinge from your hips, keeping your back long. So can you see I am not really hunched in the shoulders and if you're not sure, do this side on in front of a mirror or get somebody to have a look at your spine. But better still, just learning how it feels to reach and pivot and fold from these hip creases. So folding, folding, folding forwards with a long spine and then we're gonna start to feel a stretch in the inner thighs and the hamstrings here. So again, you might just be bringing your hands down, fingertips, pulling your shoulders back, your chest forward. You might just be here. You can use, if you've got a bolster, something like that, just to drape yourself onto. Um, you can build up the same kind of effect with cushions off your couch and just fold over this support so you can put your head onto some cushions. You want to feel nice and long in the back, not hunching the spine and rounding the upper back. So keep going for that extension, extension, extension. Nice, nice, nice. Breathe. Exhale. Good. And then slowly roll up. And let's bring the right foot into the left thigh. So we've got a kind of seated tree position here. And then we're going to take our left hand and just side bend over to the left. I'm going to add on by reaching up with this arm and just taking it over the head. So not collapsing forwards, keep opening the spine by keeping this um, right elbow open in and reaching up to the ceiling. The elbow reaches up and the upper arm bone hangs over and then you can turn the head to twist and look up to the ceiling. So you've got this really big, lovely stretch down the side body here, and the hand can reach down to the foot or just rest on the ground. Get some nice deep breaths into the side waist. Opening this lung, come back up. And then change sides, bringing this left foot in, reaching your hand out down this foot. So this depends on your body, you might not get to the foot, you might have different proportions to me and you might only reach onto the shin or onto the ground, that's absolutely fine. It's here that we're lengthening, so open the side waist, lean to the side, take the left elbow up to the ceiling, reach under the armpit. So you've got this pivot and twist. I like to use this elbow on the inside of this leg just to give me that extra opening here. And then let this hand just angle over. So you've got this big, big, you should be able to feel your ribs almost just separating. And those intercostal muscles getting a big opening and a big stretch here. Breathing deep.
good and then let's come back up to centre stretch out both legs and give them a shake good and then just come onto all fours take a little stretch with the right toes just slide them back press into the heel and just push back through that heel and feel that connection between the heel and the sitting bone and then slide the left toes back and just push through that heel and up into the sitting bone and then another thing that you can do here I'm just going to take my socks off because if you're on carpet you might find that you're going to slip so this is where it does come in handy just to be on a yoga mat so you're going to bring your hands down curl the toes under and one of my favorite poses downward facing dog bend the knees lift the hips so keep your knees soft find length in the spine can you see rather than kind of being rounded here lift 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 lengthen 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 and then drop your heels down in space maybe even just bending one knee straightening the other leg so sometimes people kind of go they're going really fast really take your time to just bend the knee straighten the leg bend the knee straighten the leg and just find that pedal through the heels kind of think about like a cat movement just press one heel down bend the other knee press one heel down bend the other knee and go really really slowly and just enjoy that sensation of that stretch slow 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 then come into center in your down dog relax your head relax your neck feel that big stretch down the back of the legs and then from here you can drop onto your knees release your toes sit the heels back sit the bum back excuse me onto the heels and create a little pillow with the hands drop the head down take a nice easy child pose and just notice your breath relax the spine relax the neck you can even bring your hands around by the heels if that feels better for you you could build up some support for under the head with some cushions but just take a moment here you can stay here in your child's pose for as long as you want to and then when you're ready to come up drag the hands back and just rebuild your spine notice how you've wakened up all these muscles in the spine so build 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 roll the shoulders back a few times and then come to stillness thank you very much for practicing with me um i hope you've enjoyed this little bite-sized 10 minute workout for the legs um if you have enjoyed this then just go onto the topics onto the yoga workouts um, click on that topic and you should find all the different um, workouts or little modules that I've been doing. Um, so you can just choose one that suits you. If you want to build a few up um, and do a few together, then you can do. If you're enjoying what I'm producing in this group, then please go ahead and share it with your friends and family. Um, I would really appreciate it. I can see when people invite people into this group and I do really appreciate it to support the work that I'm doing. Um, to spread a little bit of yoga to everybody um, even if you're not able to walk into a general yoga class or you don't feel confident um, we can get more people practicing a little bit of yoga and a little bit more meditation I do believe that the world will be a much better place and we can get more people finding their inner sparkle so thank you very much for joining me um, I'll catch you all again in a few days time have a great week bye for now